All I can say is, it's about time. Good afternoon, Smeggies. This one, he um, he's all over me right now. As you can see, he doesn't want me to leave him on his own. Many reasons why. Well, can I just point out, he must be holding his poop in because as soon as we went out into the garden, that was the first thing he did. He's been holding it all day. He's a good boy, aren't you? And then he decided to dig in the garden and he somehow unearthed a big bunch of ants, which is why he's feeling a bit uh, needy. Because <laughs> obviously they started crawling all over him, so I quickly removed them and I got bit maybe two or three times. <sighs> Gonna have to be careful with that, aren't we? Hey? Plus, he's got abandonment issues because while I was out there killing those ants with the ant powder, he's like barking and whining and this is why he's being all lovey-dovey with me right now because I've just come back in and he thinks that I'm going to leave him again like I did yesterday. Don't worry about it, I'm staying with you for the rest of today. Apart from when I'm fetching the car later on, but don't tell him that. I was about to report to you that he hasn't peed anywhere on the floor apart from where he has to on the pads until I just trod in a bit. Yeah, exactly. What? Oh, eat a pillow. <laughs> I mean, the ants didn't really, really get to him. He just had them all over his paws and a few on his face. And of course, straight away, I picked him up and wiped them off as best I can. And now he just wants to bite me and chomp me, don't you? Give over biting. I pop to the Asda before I come home from work. These turkey pieces, the ones that I usually love, or turkey chunks, they usually come in packs, smaller packs that are a pound each, and then they went up to pound fifty, yada yada yada. Now there's these bulky packs. However, I went through the self-serving till and it only charged me one pound fifty. And yet it says two pound on the pack. I'm not gonna complain to them, am I? I've just spotted something. Check out this wire. Oh, it's gone right through it. That's bad. Except it isn't because that's not actually connected to anything. That used to be the wire from my telephone cable to my satellite dish, to my skybox, that I no longer have. So basically it's fine that he's chewed for it, sort of. I don't think it's connected to anything. In fact, I know it's not. I suppose maybe I should just remove it, but I've never got round to doing that. Uh-oh, the return of the cat. <laughs> and he's gone. He's not sticking around. Oh, you've made him scared now by doing absolutely nothing. This is where the ants were. He dug there and straight away all these ants come flying out. Well, not flying, they were crawling all over. So, I've had to kill them all. That's the problem with this garden. I've had ants down there mainly. I've never seen them up here before. They do the like sort of cultivate around the garden in places. I remember years ago they used to be all under carport here and they used to come up through the cracks, like thousands of them. I killed all them too. Well, I have a Smeg Chris script finally written. I was going to film today, but I don't know, it just feels like it's going dark quickly. And I didn't think I'd have enough time, so I'm going to film it, hopefully, when I get home from work tomorrow. I know that the workers will be outside, but they like to read the papers and drink tea or whatever it is they do these days. So I'm pretty sure I could film in between all of that. We will see, but that's tomorrow. And all I can say is thank God it's Friday. But until then, peace out. And before I start filming, I'm going to have to move all that. Duh.